One Saturday afternoon, Mark was sitting back in his chair feeling very unhappy. He had been cycling back from school the day before and had fallen off his bike. He had been helped up by his brother, Steve, and he had been taken to the hospital. An x-ray showed that Mark's leg was broken. So, of course, the leg was put in plaster. The doctor told him that he must not put it down. He must give his leg a rest. Mark could not believe his bad luck. This was the day he had been waiting for, the day when he was going to watch, for the first time in his life, a real, live football match. The ticket had been bought many weeks ago and they had all been looking forward to this match. I'm so disappointed, he told his mother. As he was sitting in his chair, his father and his brother came down the stairs. They were ready to go to the match. I'm sorry, you can't come today, said his father. We will come back and tell you exactly what happened and how the goals were scored. All right, said Mark bravely, though he was almost beginning to cry. Vince Oliver, a famous footballer, would be playing that day. The sports papers called Vince Oliver the fastest thing on two legs. I'll get Vince Oliver's autograph for you, said Steve. I have already talked to Tom about it. Tom was Steve's friend who worked in the club. You must not feel sad. Look. Let me buy you an ice cream before we go. He ran out of the house and was back in a few minutes with the ice cream. Mark had to smile as he licked the ice cream. We must go now, son, said his father. We won't forget to get the autograph for you. As he watched his brother and father leaving, Mark felt sad but not quite as sad as before. His mother and he were going to bake a cake together. His mother helped him to the kitchen, where she had everything ready for the cake. He was very good with the icing and the cake was nearly done when Steve and Papa returned. We won, three, nil, said Papa. Did you see Vince Oliver? asked Mark. Of course, he is really a brilliant footballer. The sad thing was that, Nearly at the end of the match, he fell and got hurt. He had already scored two of the three goals. He had to be carried away on a stretcher, said Steve. So you didn't get his autograph, said Mark. I hope he wasn't too badly hurt. The next day paper said that Vince Oliver had broken his arm and would not be playing football for two weeks. A week after that, Mark's mother took him to the doctor who wanted to change his plaster. In the doctor's clinic, he found a seat next to a young man who had a broken arm and sat down next to him. The nurse called Mark's name first. They went in and the doctor was very pleased with Mark's progress. Another two weeks and you'll be playing football again, Mark, he said as they left the room. Mark was very happy to hear this. He had been really sorry to miss his football coaching. His mother went over to the nurse to make their next appointment. Mark went over to the seats in the waiting room. He sat down and found that he was next to the young man with the broken arm again. Do you like football? asked the young man. He had been listening. Oh yes, said Mark. And he told the man about how he had missed seeing Vince Oliver play because of his leg. He also told the man that his brother could not get Vince Oliver's autograph because Oliver had broken his arm during the match. Yes, said the man, I did dot Mark missed what he said. Then suddenly he understood what the young man was saying. He could not believe it. He was too surprised to speak. He was sitting next to Vince Oliver. You don't look like your pictures, Mark said, excitedly. I couldn't recognize you. Vince laughed, that's because of my sporting gear, he said, I'm wearing my own clothes now. Mark could not believe what he was hearing. I will do it for you now, Vince was saying. I can autograph this for you. He bent over and wrote on the plaster. All the best from one footballer to another. Vince Oliver when the plaster came off two weeks later, Mark asked the nurse if he could keep it, 
it was too precious to be thrown away. She was surprised but, she gave it to him. He took the plaster home and now it hangs on his bedroom wall for everyone to see.